hello and welcome to a new video in this video I'm going to show you how to manage logins and users in SQL Server specifically I'm going to show you how to create uh, a new login in SQL Server how to create a new user in a SQL Server database how to assign permissions to a user using the uh, SQL Server Management Studio so first of all let's see how to create a new login in SQL Server so the first thing you need to do is go to security and then logins and then click on new login so for the moment these are the default logins that we have one of them is the SA uh, login which which is the sysadmin account so when you click on new login you will get this screen so you will be prompted to uh, select the login name uh, in this case it's going to be a SQL Server authentication but you can do Windows authentication and select a Windows account I'm going to do SQL Server authentication I will name this user uh, for example James and I will give him a password and make sure uh, the password is as complicated as possible well for me this is just a just a database so it's not really important but if you are working on, on a production database make sure all passwords are complicated after doing all of this you can click OK and this is a very basic uh, login creation you can have a look at other things like server roles and user mappings and securable and status for example in server roles you can say what role this login is going to have it can be a sysadmin it can be a setup admin server admin etc for the moment let's make this login just a public login and you can map this login with a, a database but for the moment I'm not going to map him to any database so I leave it like this click OK and as you can see the login has been created here James another way to create a login is using a query create login for example if I want to create the login Kevin with the password Kevin you can do create login Kevin with password Kevin run the query I don't know what happened I run the command again and now it says command completed successfully if I refresh the logins here as you can see I have Kevin created as well now, now let's see how to create a user for a specific database for example let's pick this database AdventureWorks 2019 which is a sample database and we, if we expand this and go to security users I can add a user for this specific database so to create a user just click on uh, just right right click on the users folder and select new user enter here the desired uh, username for example let's say user one and pick login name as well let's make it username uh, as well and choose the default schema for this user you don't have to pick a default schema but you can if you want I'm going to leave it like this and then click OK and here it's telling me that user1 is not a valid login so let's try to change this let's make it Steve and the login name is Steve as well 
for some reason it doesn't like what I'm doing here ah sorry my mistake <laughs> uh, for my login I need to pick one of the logins that we have for example Kevin and then Kevin can be a user on this database sorry my bad click OK and as you can see the user Kevin has been created so to create a user that user has to be uh, assigned or related to an already existing uh, login in the database server and now my user Kevin is here now let's see how we can assign permissions uh, in SQL Server using the SQL Server Management Studio so if you have SQL Server Management Studio open right click on the name of the user that you want to change uh, his permissions for example Kevin and click on properties then uh, go to securables and do a search on this window select all objects belonging to the schema select the schema name as DBO Identify the table you want to grant permissions on. For example, this table and select the permissions you want to grant this user on this table. For example, uh, select or insert. Okay. If you want to change uh, the schema, just click on search again if you want to for example on this database I have the person schema the production schema the purchasing schema and the sales schema the human resources schema as well so if I choose human resources and click OK I have the tables department employee employee department history and so on and so forth let's grant this user read access on these tables so let's give him select on department select on employee select on employee history select on uh, shift and click OK to save the permissions and with this the permissions have been granted to the user Kevin if I want to test this I can log out here and then log in again and this time I'm going to log in as Kevin And let's see what Kevin can do on this database and as you can see here Kevin can only see these tables so Kevin can view this table he can view this table as well but can he uh, delete for example let's try the latest table okay and it says here error drop failed on table human resources because it does not exist or you do not have permission but in this case because Kevin does not have the permission to delete this table 